Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. We are here at our Mountain Home Studios. Live and in beautiful downtown. We downtown. are live. We are live. We are live. Live we are, yes. Probably mm -hmm. not you're watching us live, but we're glad to come to you here each and every week on a show called 726 Mountain Home, and here we are. But we don't edit. We try not we to. We try edit. the way the way these That means up. extra work if we have to stop and edit. Somebody, well, if, let's if we not have a, use we. Let's use Gil. Yeah, well, yeah. It'd be extra yeah. work for Gil. Face it, it the two it, of us, yeah. we blow this popsicle. We, we used to, I think there's, go out. Oh, there's only been like one time that we, we had to completely stop and start all over, and that was when the electric, uh, they had a, a um, storm. A storm come through when we were at the mall, when we did a show yeah. over there. And Is that when it would rain? You had buckets around they were too? Yeah. Okay, well, just yeah. checking. Do you used to have you yeah. been over at that other place? Yeah. Okay. I was a guest you were a over guest, there. Yeah. I was I was a guest several times. But you you've moved laterally in the world. Well, I was and, asked the other day how in the Roy asked me. He said, "How'd you how'd you start doing that?" I said, "Well, I was a guest uh, many times." And I said, "I guess maybe Dan <coughs> noticed I had <coughs> the gift of gab." Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think it's a little more than that. Well, the gift of gab. But anyway, I did kiss the Barney Stone. Remember that? A few years ago when I went on vacation, I kissed the Barney oh, yeah? Stone in mm -hmm. Ireland. So I've done that. I've kissed the Barney Stone. So anyway. So do you have a bucket list? It doesn't everyone. I, I don't know. I'm asking you. Sometimes when I do things, I, then I'll say, oh, this was on my bucket list. I, I'm certain there are things that, uh, there are many things I would like to do, really doubt that I will, mm -hmm. but I have certain mm -hmm. things I'd like to accomplish. More than do, I'd like to accomplish uh -huh. them, that okay. sort of thing. Any place you'd like to see do. still? Yes. Where? I would like to go to Ireland. That's, that's beautiful. That's where my family originated from. Mm -hmm. I thought it was from. Scotland. Or Scotland, I'm sorry. Scotland, Scotland uh -huh. yes. Yeah, been yeah. there too. It rains yeah. and it's cloudy. South of Scotland. As it yeah, was. I'm sure. Oh, you're in the lowlands. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. you're not a Highlander. Mm -mm. Oh, well. I told you about my experience in Scotland, didn't I? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, Mama's family, for those of you who know, Chloe Jane. Uh, Mama's mother's family were Reeds, R-E-I-D. Mm -hmm. Amy Jane Reed was my great-grandmother. And so when I was in Scotland, the R-E-I-D is the Scottish name. So I went to this, this little historical place you know, museum type place and they had all these books and, and I asked them that I was researching uh, information about my family and they said, what's the name? I said, Reed, R-E-I-D. And the guy said, oh, common as dirt. <laughs> common as dirt. Common as dirt. I said, mother, we're the Smiths of Scotland. Yeah, Smith so anyway, he, and, and there were, there were just reeds all over this book. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was kind of cool, but I, I found it's out It's kind of hard to track your lineage when everyone's a reed. It, when everyone's a reed. But we were part of the, like, Robertson or Ro, Ro, Robertson clan mm -hmm. or something, which is the oldest clan in Scotland was the one we were descended mm -hmm. from. But anyway, yeah, mother's, mother's mother was a reed. Famey Jane Reed was her mm. name. Interesting. So, yeah. That that's history's always interesting. Well, there's red hair in the family, but the red hair comes from granddad. And we haven't figured out where that's at because we can't find any, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. anything in, in that family. Mm -hmm. But I had a great, great, great somebody from what today is Northern Ireland, from Ulster. Her name, their last name mm -hmm. was Kathy. Mm -hmm. C-A-T-H-E-Y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway, lots of Germans, lots of Irish, lots of Scots, yep. that sort of thing. Yeah. You too. Yeah. When you, you're yeah. red-headed, you can't deny it. I, I can't. I'd like to go back someday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was it was it was it was nice, but it really was cool and, and rainy, just like they, just like yeah, they say all the time. And, and well, not all the I, time, but it wasn't warm and sunny. I'm partial to that. I like that weather. I, I don't like it for days. I get a mm -hmm. blue, uh, you know if that it's, yeah, that it's not seasonal depression disorder, whatever that everybody yeah. basically suffers yeah. from to some extent. If it's Maybe that's gray why everyone for several is days, so depressed over there. That's why they drink a lot, as they say. <laughs> Speaking of which, you you know you're watching and I'm watching too the. PBS. Uh, Therefore, uh, I knew where you were going. Speaking of drinking, I know where you were going, Daniel. <laughs> the Prohibition Yes, special. on PBS. That's really interesting. For, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm sure it'll be repeated. It's on PBS. Yeah. Started Sunday night, mm -hmm. and then last night and tonight. And Courtney's been just hanging on everywhere. Yeah, it's been it's, really good. Yeah. Ken but Burns, he's a, he's a Ken great. Ken Burns uh, is great. But uh, I got to see a little blip of it at our last board meeting. Mm -hmm. um, down there at AETN, and, and so I marked my calendar that was going to start the second, third, and fourth. Yeah, it's amazing third, to me fourth, how, fourth how the government was structured back then. It was so influential. People could influence the government, yeah. I mean, so easily. Oh, like they can't now? Uh, but yeah, but we don't hear about it now so much. I well, mean, the thing that, ama that amazed me, uh, well, not amazed, as I heard before, but the amount of tax money the government derived from alcohol, and that mm -hmm. the 16th mm -hmm. Amendment was partially passed because they mm -hmm. knew that if they lost the liquor tax, they had to replace it by something. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. of course, the women's vote, and I, you know, because I teach history, I know about the Anti Saloon League and the Women's Christian Union, you know, mm -hmm. and all that. Um, uh, stuff but it's it's really really interesting uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, what I think is the most interesting thing about prohibition maybe is the fact that it did give kind of a disregard for the law like here's this federal law uh -huh, and everybody uh -huh. breaks it everybody knows it 
and nobody does anything about it. So it kind of gave. It's part of the reason why the sixties, it's not sixties, but the twenties roared. Yeah. The idea that there there are no limits, there are no no's. You yeah. say it's a legal big deal. We do it anyway, yeah. and yeah. all that. Lots yeah. of new inventions going on in the nineteen. Well, I think that was a lesson for how much government control you can put on people. You know, you tell them that they can't do something, they're going to find yeah. a way to do it. Remember the guy in the video that said, if you want little boys to brush their teeth, make it illegal, they'll be on the rooftop right. brushing their right. teeth. Right, that's yeah. right, right. So I, From a technical side, uh, it's interesting how they get all, uh, they uh, and the the, uh, the uh, old black and white photos. How they and use the, the still the, photos and, and kind film of is, weep them, weave them together. Well, whatever. not only that, but how they got a hold of all of that footage. I know it's somewhere, yeah. it's archived, but it, it's such great quality. It's it's a really interesting, uh, uh, yeah. I highly recommend watching that if you can. It, it, well, I, I'm sure it'll, it'll be on, and usually what PBS does is they will put it on their website, and you can you know draw it up and watch mm -hmm. it on, mm -hmm. on the computer. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got a little, I mean, little video thing, a little preview of it, and uh, I knew it was going to be good. Of course, Ken yeah, Burns, like good, I said, yeah. he did baseball, he did jazz, mm -hmm. he did mm -hmm. the sort of Civil War, he was so War, famous yeah. for, but yeah. uh, excellent. Prohibition uh, was America's noble experiment, they yeah. say. You cannot enforce an unpopular law. That's right. Yeah. We got a, we got a big show. We, we probably do. ought to we get do. to. Yeah, we do because we have five five guests. You want to start off with the first guest and uh, go. We do, but we're, I'll, choose I'll which way you want to go. I will start with the guest who's going to come on first, and that's Bill Richardson and Laura Shaw, and they're going to come on with something called bike the bull, not ride the bull, bike the bull. So you can ride a bike around the bull. But anyway, uh, we'll learn all about that because that's going to be a bike ride out at bull shows, like for bikers and non-bikers. They assured me, so we'll mm -hmm. learn about that. And who else we're going to talk to? Uh, let's go up to number two. What go? Go ahead. Can I start? Oh, with I'm Mark? sorry. I mean, you're just like I, I down you, on me. I, I can thought do you it wanted, all. Okay. Mark Keaton is going to come and talk about signing up for Master Gardeners, and then we have a trio, a trio that you know. We have Jennifer Baker and Enoch Pippen and Jeff Hughes, who are going to talk. Jennifer's from the Historical Society, Jen, and the guys are from L.C. Salmon's Youth Center. But I, I really. It's an odd pairing. It's an odd pairing. We, you know, the, the strange bedfellows kind of thing. So we're not really sure what's going to go on with those three. But Jennifer's smiling. So I, I don't know. She's got two cute men, one on each side, so she's a very happy lady. And then Billy's back with us. Billy Major and Anna Doyle are here to talk about. Last week it was a trail ride, so this week it's uh, recycling. recycling, a recycling program going on, and everybody's into that and being green and all kinds of good mm -hmm. stuff. And then we have Deborah Knox and we have Stephanie Elgato who are here for the Mountain Home Rotary Annual Pancake Breakfast. So uh, that's coming up, that's it. and that's always a big event. Okay. So that's it. I'm, I did all the work. Okay. Let's you just take, take us to commercial break. Let's take our first break, and we'll okay. be talking with Bill Reynolds and also Laura Shaw about the Bike the Bull. Bike the Bull. Stay with us. Yeah.